Hi, today we're going to be doing a video on a handprint footprint mermaid for a craft for your kids for the summer. You'll need white paint for the eyes, black paint for the pupils and eyelashes, pink paint or whatever color you'd like for the tail, a dark and a light shade, and a color for the hair and a, a skin color. You'll need paint brushes and a plate to put your paint on and also construction paper for your mermaid. Start out by painting on your flesh color and your hair color onto your child's hand. You want the flesh color to stay on the lower half of your kid's hand, the palm area. And then you're gonna put the hair color up on top. Try to cover all the cracks of their hand, not leaving any space. Okay, then you get another paintbrush to paint in the hair. She wants Elsa colored hair, so of course that's what we're doing. So you paint that on the thumb and the rest of the fingers. Uh, this paint is very sheer, but we'll make it work. And it's shiny. Yes, it is shiny. I like the shiny part the most. Okay, you gotta work fast because things start to dry on you. Okay, then you're gonna have your child keep their fingers nice and straight, and they're gonna press it down on your paper. Okay, lift your hand straight up. Okay, looks like we have some filling in to do. So I'll fill that in where it dried, and she'll wash her hands, and we'll be right back. Next step is you'll be taking your dark paint color and painting your child's foot. <laughs> it tickles. So hopefully her foot is not too big for our paper. You want to work fast because your paint goes dry quickly, especially this paint we're using. And also, especially if you have a wiggly toddler you're working with, you want to move really quickly. Okay, you're going to coat the whole foot. <laughs> it's squishy. Really well. Okay. <laughs> Next, you take your wet foot. And you're going to have them step down where you want your mermaid to be. Okay, push your foot up. Pull it. Okay. Good. Okay, um, when I was off camera, I just added in some little arms and a neck. And I filled in my foot a little bit better. The paint we're using today is not very good paint. You want to get one that is a little, that will not dry as quickly. And she's going to be adding the triangles to the bottom of the tail to get the the mermaid, it looking like a mermaid. So go ahead with your dark color paint. If you have a toddler, you may do this for them. Or, um, you know, to have the details done. Okay, and then she's going to dip her finger into the lighter paint, and she's going to add some dots to our tail.
they can do whatever they want if they wanted to add stripes or whatever but the dots are really easy for little toddlers to just fill in with their fingerprint the lighter color shows up really nice Okay. Wait. Okay. Next, she's going to be adding in the little straps of her bra, which uses the two middle toes. Go ahead. Of her little bathing suit top. Like that? Yep. Now. Very cute. Then she's going to rinse off her brush. She's going to be doing the eyes. The eyes and the mouth. No, don't, don't. Oh, sorry. You got to put the other eye. You should only have one eye. Yeah, that would be like alien. It's alien mermaid. Mm-hmm. They're a little uneven. That's, if you need to fix it, go ahead. Mm. Well, probably that eye was a little bit too small. Well, I think that's better. Okay. Then she needs a mouth, pupils. And eyelashes. And eyelashes. You can dip it again because usually you don't fill up your brush enough. Your eyelashes are black too, aren't they? So yeah. you don't need to wash your brush yet. Very cute. Okay. That looks good. Yeah. They look pretty. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And then red for the mouth. If red you for want. the mouth. Yep. Yeah. She's like kind of disgust. Why? Because I like disgust in the movie. Oh, okay. But she's happy and disgust. Oh, okay. I know you're coming. Let me show the final product. There's our handprint footprint mermaid made by Alina. If you like this video, please, please like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye we'll bye. see you next time. See you next time, probably next week.